The Accra Circuit Court hearing the case of the Dom Kwabenya District Police Station saw break, which led to the killing of a police officer, has set February 18, that is today, to deliver its judgment. At the last court session, counsel for the sixth accused person who ended giving his testimony and cross-examination at the previous sitting told the court that they have ended their case because they had no more witness to call. The court, presided over by Mr. Abwaje Tando, then ordered all the parties to file their written addresses by February 11. Prince Osei, Nancy Denta, Prince Kofi Echampong, and Kofi Seshi were among the four who were asked to open their defense after a prima facie case was established against them. Six of the accused were earlier during the trial acquitted and discharged after the prosecution failed to establish a prima facie case against them, whilst two were also convicted after pleading guilty. The facts of the case as presented by the prosecution led by Superintendent of Police Kweku Bempa was that the complaints are policemen stationed at the Kwabenya District Police Headquarters. He said Prince Osei, 25, is a scrap dealer living at Glyphe Dansuman, while Atakujo, 20, a driver, and Kofi Dako, 25, is also a trader living at Glyphe Dansuman. Nancy is 28 and lives at Dom George Yabua, 30, and lives around Graphic Road. He said Prince Kofi Echampong is 32 and lives at Afienya. Edward is 20 and lives at Tema Newtown. Kofi Seshi is 28. George Saba is 23. Elvis is 31. George Asante is 33. And Theophilus is 25. Mr. Bempa said on January 21, 2018, at about 1.30 a.m. hours, a gang of armed men numbering six planned and attacked the Kwabenya police station and freed their colleagues who were being held in detention for various violent crimes. He told the court that in the execution of their plan, the assailants proceeded to the station whilst two of them who pretended to have a complaint to lodge entered the charge office and told the counter non-commissioned officer that someone borrowed money from them and had refused to pay back. The counter NCO corporal Robert Owusu advised them to seek redress at the civil court since the case they were reporting was civil matter. The two then turned and signaled the rest who had laid ambush within the premises and launched an attack on the policemen at the charge office. The prosecution said they shot Inspector Emmanuel Ashilevi, who was on duty as a monitoring officer on the right buttock, held the counter NCO, the counter orderly, the charge office guard, and the ninth investigator hostage. He said they took the keys to the cells and released seven of the inmates, namely Chibuzo Akuba, Emmanuel Kote, Roxen Adam Jigbede, Dixon Ofori, Prince Osei, Atakojo, and Kofi Dako. After the armed attack, the assailants fled the scene. The NCO and the night investigator arranged for an ambulance and rushed Inspector Shilevi to the police hospital for treatment, but they were referred to the 37 military hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Mr. Bempa said, Police intelligence led to the arrest of George Yabua, who assisted Prince Osei and Atakujo with 200 Ghana cities to escape out of the jurisdiction. He also gave 40 Ghana cities to Kofi Dako to enable him to escape from the jurisdiction. He said on January 23, 2018, police intelligence led to the arrest of Prince Osei and Atakujo at Rara in the Volta region. The prosecution said investigations also revealed that whilst in detention on January 18, Prince Osei overheard other inmates planning to escape. According to the police, in the evening on the same day, Nancy brought a mobile phone to Dixon in the cells which he used to contact his people outside to execute the escape plan. He said Roxon's brother also brought a hacksaw blade to him by hiding it in a bread to be used ostensibly to cut the padlocks to the cells, but he could not cut it. He said upon interrogation, Prince Osei said he stole his gun from Prince Kofi Echampong. He also revealed that Dixon and Chibuzo are Echampong's boys, whom he normally sent out on robbery expeditions. Mr. Bempa said further investigations revealed that it was Echampong in collaboration with Dixon and Chibuzo who sent the armed men to attack and release them from the cells, which led to the death of the inspector.